So welcome back to another game of Bioshock Infinite, played by uh, Lee. So last time we left off, we um, are making my way back to the uh, Crow's Mansion, etc. Because I've um, unlocked the chest as part of the side quest. So now we're coming back here. Seamless. Um, what's good, quite a good thing about this, a lot of it sort of, it appears to be one loading screen. Um, there are places where it does load. Um, you can it almost like seamlessly run and like through doors and set areas. So this is where we were fighting before. Uh, we're just going to continue, um, and we're trying to make our way to Monument Island, um, which is ideal for us. Um, we're after something there, but I don't want to spoil the story, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. I um, mean, at this point, I didn't. When I was playing the game, I didn't know. Um, the commentary is just a, um, in retrospective. It's a little bit creepier than outside, so that's why I'm being a bit more careful than usual. Um, but it's not as creepy as like the, I say every every episode, but it's not as creepy as the original Bioshock. So um, as I start to learn that, I think I've started to. So I thought the radio was um, people, <laughs> but it wasn't. Yep, so it, it took me a while to realise that the radio was a radio. I think I realise about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a person speaking, but that was radio. And then because the radio's on, I'm thinking, well, there might be someone around. So I'm just trying to listen to see if I can hear anyone else walking about, but I don't think there is, so I just continue on, I think. Into a lift. Time to be too much up here. So down we go. Deeper into this mansion. It's just like the, the cult of the crows. Isn't it? I, don't, I can't remember the name. I'm sorry, guys. Again, being careful. Um, it's getting quite creepy, so just being careful, making sure that no one's around. There's our vending machine. So I buy a health kit, cost me money, so why not try and claim some of the money back? I'll buy some salt as well. Nothing around the other side, so I'm like, okay, that's good. I don't know if I stand up, I don't know why I'm creeping still. <laughs> Get my machine, I'll check my bullets I think, and then my machine gun wasn't great. Careful, just in case someone's going to jump out at me. Some nice classical music playing in the background. Um, and that's where I've got to go, so um, as always, don't go the way you need to go. Go into another room. Just making sure. Um, because there's always something to find in, in the other rooms. Often it's not like a box of phone, stuff like that. Um, sometimes there's nothing too much to find other than just a little bit of ammo and stuff. Uh, box of phone. Sweet mother of Columbia. Just listen to that. Why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword so that we might avenge you. We worship the raven so that we might cover the city with eyes. We worship the coffin because it symbolizes the weight of our faith. So I think this book bookcase is a bit suspicious. Oh wait, there you go. <laughs> so I went over to it and you can see there's a gap in it. So I thought, oh, let's check this room first because it's hidden, which is a bit unusual. Um, so we check out the hidden room first, and it looks like a torture experimental chamber, which is very interesting. Um, and in there you've got a extra gear, 
um, which we're going to take, which are new pants, this one. So I'm just trying to decide whether I want to keep my current pants um, or current trousers and then all swap them. So I think I'm going to go for the original one. Oh no, I didn't. I, I swapped him. <laughs> so have a look around. There's a lot of sim it's like um symbolism of like cages and birds. Um it becomes a bit of a plot point later on. Well, gruesome. Then he disappears. He disappears. I'm like, oh, where's he go? Is he gonna attack me? I think I'm hiding because I don't know where he went. I got scared. Turn off the creepy music. Oh no, I couldn't turn off. I think I tried. I, I, I get the impression it's going to be like a boss fight, so I don't want to go over the main bridge because I think it's dangerous. I shall not fail again. So I can hear him, but I don't know where he's gone. Yeah. I wouldn't enemies fight me, so <laughs> I forgot that. I knew I couldn't hear him, I didn't know, I forgot he's behind me. So this throwing trap down. Some more salt to make it traps. I, I'm terrible at aiming these guys. It took me a while to realise that you have to. I think I think at one point I just comes low, running low on health. I just throw traps down, hoping it catches people. Um, but of course he teleports, so it doesn't help. So I think at one point I'm just running around, just throwing traps down as much as I can, so I don't know where he's going to turn up. At this point, yeah, yeah, yeah. These enemies get quite easy to beat later on, but it's just, um... <laughs> First time you encounter them. Run out of bullets. I can't aim to save my life. <laughs> See, they're just running around. It's like a cat and mouse game. So I get a few shots and then run around. Teleports again behind me. Oh, and there. The game, the game. This? I got him. Some kind of vigor. That's a hell of a thing. It's a new vigor, a new uh, special ability to try and find out what that does. Yeah, drinkables rather than injectables. Rest to summon murderous crows. Rest to trap. Mm. Useful. So you can um, use them like a trap when a crow's like fly and attack you, or just um, send them out as like a, a damage set kind of thing. So just trying out what I do. It's not my favourite figure, but in this situation, it's surprisingly effective. But of course, out assaults, all the enemies are coming running towards me. Aiming for the headshots and failing, but I think that's most enemies done dealt with. So I'm gonna just loot their bodies as always. Always loot a body. Not in real life, guys. Just in games. And all while the classical music is playing. Some good cinematography there. <laughs> I'm just setting up my uh, figures, so I, when I quick when I quick switch, I have uh, the figures I want to use and play play with and try out. Just reloading some pretty low on um, machine gun bullets, but not pistol bullets. Another gear, new hat. So, 
it says a burning oh, electric punch or burning I didn't read it burning oh burning halo not burning hold I was thinking it was <laughs> so that's why I've gone take take the gear I don't think I switched it in that one I think I just just took the gear because you can have as much or as far as I'm aware you can have as much limit for gear you don't have to drop anything you can just only equip so many I can get to Monument Island from that station. So the guy they're looking for is not you, it is another character which comes um, a little little point later on. Or some bit of foreshadowing. That screaming you hear is also uh, something very scary. So I just tease that for you. So I'm not entirely sure where to go, to be honest. I know there's a telescope there, which is one of them sites here. Um, yeah, the sites here, like numbers. I think you get trivia, you find all of them. I don't know if I used it or not in the end. Uh, no, I do use it. So Monument Island is where we've got to go. So we've got to get there somehow. And then if you look where I'm looking, that's our path. So the skyline um, allows you to attach the hooks, as you've seen. Yeah, as you in a previous episode, the skyline allows you to use the hooks. So I'm going to use that to get across. I'm also going to check this building while I'm here. Be careful just in case anyone in it. Um, just checking this not the way I need to go, so like I'm not accidentally going to run forward in the story without having a chance to explore. I'm like Grant in that sense, I like to explore a little bit. Not as not as thoroughly as Grant, but Mind you, if you're watching his Resident Evil video yesterday, uh, he didn't really have a chance to explore. <laughs> I highly recommend checking that out. And we'll have more of them coming out in the next uh over the next couple of weeks. I don't believe it's a huge game. But it's very cinematic. So there is someone here, and there's also a policeman. So I'm going to be very careful. Hopefully, they don't see me. I don't have enough salt, so I can't really. It's terrible. I don't have anything. I can. I've only got like pistol aim. I'm looking for some salt or something that I can use to, against him. I'm trying to make as little noise as possible so I can sneak up on him and then take him out from behind. Ah! And then he saw me. I didn't. Oh god, that is awful. <laughs> That's so bad. There's one more, there's one more as well. There's one around the corner because it's hiding. AI in games hide from you as well. Again, aim of headshots. So now I can loot this house and see if there's any nearby. Take some health, she's still alive. I think this time I might um, save her. Oh no, I wasn't going to save, I was going to try and possess her. <laughs> I'm terrible at games, I'm like evil in games. I wouldn't do that in real life. Yeah, so no, I, I, it's not too much to really see in here, it's like a, a bit of a fight, I wasted a bit of ammo. I haven't really got anything worthwhile out of it, as far as I'm aware. Unless there's something hidden there that I missed. So back out and then we'll head over to Monument Island, I guess. Using his skyline. Cut an enemy and then again another fight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hide here. I've got a bit of cover. 
Bear in mind, bear in mind my machine gun bullets are, are low, so all I've got is just pistol to try and pistol and vigors to try and help. So if there's no enemies, they don't come and shoot enemies; they just come and stand near you. Um, small enemies like that kill themselves afterwards, so I, I know I don't need to worry about them. Again, what it is for the violence, <laughs> uh, the gruesomeness. <laughs> His body. Um, I thought there might be some more up here. I was like, two enemies doesn't seem seem. I'm, I'm playing in hard mode as well, so I think two enemies doesn't seem very many. But that, to be honest, the game doesn't get that hard until maybe second half of the game, maybe maybe halfway through. Then it starts picking up a bit of difficulty. But I think that once you worked out the tactics and how to deal with each enemy, it's, it's not really, it's not really too difficult. It just depends on what your playstyle is. You can be really stealthy. You can be gun blazing, which I'm kind of like in this game. But I kind of use cover a lot. Is my sort of tactic. I use cover a lot and then move around. But it does depend on the situation and the bro. So the DLC, you have to be quite sneaky. Um, but I do see some people through the other buildings, so we're going to be careful there. Um, we come and deal with that. So these are upgrades for your figures, which I don't have enough money to do so. I say cool, that's quite loud. I don't know if that will alert people to my presence or not. Need more salt, I don't want to waste any more money to buy salt. There we go. Oh, and they saw me, they saw me, so that they did make noise, and then they come over. Which, I didn't want to alert them that early, because I wasn't ready for a fight. So I'm trying to aim for headshots. Because if you do a headshot, it seems to be like, um, almost, well, the small enemies at least, anyway, it kills almost immediately. Music's still going, so there's oh, yeah, still more people around. He's there. Nah, I just shot him in the chest, that one. Still, still, still going, so there's got to be another enemy about somewhere. I'm worried they're going to sneak up, because there's two entrances to this build, to this room. So, well, well, I made a lot of noise, so I might as well shoot that. So my tactic here is to wait for the enemies to come to me. Because I can hear them, but they're not coming to me, which is strange. I thought they'd, I thought they'd follow me, but they, they haven't done so yet. There's a kinescope there. I think I watch that and just hope an enemy does not come at me <laughs> during it. A risky, risky move. So these are talking about tears, um, which which appear after, well, apparently after the scientists, the Bluetooth twins, their work, and it's caused these tears to appear. We're unsure why. Says one of the enemies. He's very far away. There's two of them actually. Oh wow, they're shooting from here, but they're not coming forward, so I'm just trying to headshot them. They're really far away, so like, the stray bullets hit me, but not all of them. There's one more, there's one more as well, I think. Get out of the way, get my shield back up, and go do them all, another, another two. Now they come towards me. Oh, he's burnt to a skeleton. So he... I don't know where he is. I know there's one more guy because I can hear him. Oh, there he is, there he is. Nope, not quite got him yet. Yeah. 
this this is where there's a lot of enemies thrown at you um, early in the game. It's hard, like hard mode. Um, so it's not, but it's not difficult. It's just um, a lot. Uh, the, the reason that is is because I think this is trying to get you used to the combat, and then um, they add like an extra, a little bit later on, they add like an extra component to to it, which is quite. I find it helpful to be honest. Um, but we'll come to that when when we get there. So I'm trying to get rid of this turret. Problem is the turret's going to shoot me unless I can possess it inside or destroy it. Inside. Oh, that's a fail. <laughs> So I need more salt, so making a break for salt. Take a nice reload. I try and sneak around the side and hope it doesn't hit me. Done. Done. Dealt with a turret. And that looks like to be the last of the enemies. Just checking there's no one left behind. No one's sneaking around. Just checking there's no one sneaking around. And onwards. I don't need any health. Yeah, try and take it multiple times. <laughs> I got upset because I couldn't take take the loot. <laughs> I went to store them like medkits. You can't do it in this game. Then onwards, um, take the ammo from the turret because why not? So I'm going to go and have a look in here. There's always something to find in the ticket offices. No one sold. Here, the ticket of the clock. There's actually not that much to find in this room, to be honest. Unfortunately. Take all the change. Now I don't know which way I've got to go. Um, so I can go in there. So I think I've got to go for that door. So I don't want to go for that door yet and activate like a story and, and get locked out or something. So I come into this room first, um, see what I can loot and what I can take. Soda. So I'm just looking to see what I can take, if I can take anything. Often you see like a lot of ammo and stuff in there, which is quite good. Nope. Nothing too much else to find. So nothing too much else to find, so onwards. There's our two vending machines. Still can't afford them, I think. So, no, I was trying to use possession. Um, didn't switch. And now I don't have enough salts because uh, I messed up. Right, so, okay, so... Okay. Those things them coppers came riding in on back by the water. Yeah, so we can't use the uh, Monument Island Ferry Machine, or whatever this is called. Boat? I don't know, Ferry? Sky Ferry? That line heads to Monument Island. So we have to take a alternate trip, which is a skyline. So this this bit is basically like rails, which you can use to get to your places. You can speed up, slow down, um, etc. I'm getting shot at a lot here, so I'm gonna come down, deal with this enemy. Oh, one more! Look at that dodge. I don't want to waste my bullets, so it's just punching. Oh, 
why not while we're here? Let's have a look and see what's in here. Just a maintenance tower. Oh, a lot of beer in there. Oh, and look at that. Take an infusion. So we'll do salts, I think. Nice. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. It doesn't really matter too much, but better shields, potentially just a bit longer, or more salts, which are more useful for me. Right, and then onwards. Continue this ride. Get my possession out. Nope, I went the wrong way. So I'm just figuring out how to use the skyline here. <laughs> so hence the wrong direction. I'm not even swapping. Um, but I think this is the whole point of this bit. It's just to try and get you used to uh, the controls in the skyline. Um, they're sometimes added in combat scenarios for the added layer. And we can see an enemy right there. Which I missed entirely. That was a fail and a half if I missed that. <laughs> Completely. So, we'll free the skyline controls because now it'll allow me to carry on on my trip. And the Lord the saw the wickedness of man was great, and he repented he had made man on the earth. Rain! Forty days and forty nights of the stuff, and he left not a thing that walked alive. You see, my friends, even God is entitled to a do-over. And what is Columbia if not another arc? We're trying to see what's down there. <laughs> For another time. Just a, into air. Drops into nothingness. And we continue on our skyline trip. So you can aim on the skyline as well, which is quite cool. Um, I just thought well, maybe an enemy will come down at me, but hasn't really happened, to be honest. And here, you've got all the enemies. So we'll take this one. Then I hide, because I don't think the enemies saw me. They didn't see me. They didn't see me. So jump over there. So I'm trying to see which one I can take without the others noticing me. So I think he can take me. Uh, it didn't really work. I was trying to be a bit more stealthy. But then jumping like this. Because it's almost like an instant kill. Most of it's until later on. I gave up on this point and just punched into that one. Get some elevation, I can probably reach it. Cool. Still going, so I think I think there's another enemy somewhere. I don't know where he is. I don't need that one. Salt's full, so it doesn't really make a difference. There's one enemy I've got to deal with. I don't know where he's gone. Mm. There is closed off. Skyland takes you back that way. So. It looks like I can go jump to that building. Oh, this well, we'll take it. Loot the boxes first. Nothing really for me other than health. Machine gun ammo, which I don't need. So I've got to get to that, that skyline and continue on, basically. Um, but there is a building there, which I do kind of want to check out. And it's also where that other guy is. Just waiting. Do I can deal with him, or do I go to the skyline? Oh, there's something in the back. I didn't see him. <laughs> Just get shot. Bunch of my shield to see the guy at the back. Hiding in the darkness. In the shadows. There he is. I'll loot him instead. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. Enemies provide more ammo. Or I get bigger clip size. Because uh, I sprayed so much, I mean, I keep the bigger clip size. But it was a, it was a tough call. He 
charges. He gets beaten. So I think that's all the enemies done. Um, I don't need any salt, so it's fine. Just setting up my um, my figure. So I can quick, quick, quickly swap with an L1. Before we continue on. So this is the other side of the skyline, basically. Um, I wasn't too sure. But I'm going to continue on anyway. As we get closer and closer to Monument Island. We're just on our left there. Stand down. Cool. And they come. What? I don't remember this bit. They all standing down. They're not attacking me. I was like, okay. I guess it's a smart move. Just check in every sort of section and some crannies just to make sure. You can still kill him. I was hoping they'd have something to loot. But this is no mercy for everyone, to be honest. This is just brutal. I'm sorry guys, I feel guilty. I didn't remember doing this and I feel guilty. They all burn as well. What the really. I think I saved these guys though, to be honest. Yep, twenty nine. I see every sin that blackens your soul. Wounded knee, the sapphire, the pink oblivion, the drink, the gambling, and of course, Anna. And now, to repay a debt, you've come from my land. Not all debts can be repaid, Booker. You don't know me, pal. Prophecy is my business, Mr. DeWitt. As blood is yours. Do you know why these men will die for me? Because I've seen their future no. and glory. And hence they are content. What brought you? It basically reminds me a bit like the wizard was at this point. Bring He's us using the technology or like steampunk technology to... This will end in blood. Feel and medicine. Again, yeah. It always does with you, doesn't it? It always ends in blood. blood. <sighs> boom, 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 boom. Jesus. What? That's strange. It's strange. There is a reason for it, and it does get explained later on. But um, I'm much more than confused. You've come to lead my lamb astray, but thy crook is bent and thy path is twisted. twisted. Go back to the Sodom from which you came. So I'm gonna try and make a run and jump to try and make it. You can't. You can't. So I can't get that way. So I have to go this way. Yeah. But I think this is probably. So you got to go to the rooftop access to the skyline to get to Monument Islands. Uh, I think this is probably a good point to end the video or somewhere around here. Um, thanks for joining. Um, if you're liking the series, like, subscribe. If you are subscribed, click the bell to get notified of our upcoming videos. And join us next time on Bioshock Infinite. And keep updated on our Facebook and Twitter pages for more going on in the gaming world as well as upcoming videos. Goodbye, guys.